Hey, can you do me a favor? Yeah, sure. I want to sell this, so can you make a product video for me? Make it 3D and all of that. Isn't that shoe like two years old? And you've been wearing it quite a lot. Yep. Okay, thanks. I guess I'm doing a product video. So welcome to another video. So I hope you like this video that you just saw. It was actually created all using Lumiere 3D, which is the sponsor of today's video. But I added those little light effects in Adobe After Effects. So I am not a big expert in 3D. Most of the time when I create a product video, make it look 3D, I shoot it on set and do some sort of practical effects and remove either the string or the wire or something like that or just mask out whatever is rotating my product. With Lumiere 3D, you can make cinematic product videos with that 3D feel very easily. Pretty much all you need is just the phone, a computer, and the software. One thing to keep in mind as well is that with this AI, you don't have to download anything into your computer. This is a completely web-based, browser-based software. But if you're new here, please consider subscribing for future content for me. And if you're already subscribed and you came back, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. This video is brought to you by Lumiere 3D and thank you so much Lumiere for making this video happen. So I can see this being particularly useful if you're creating a ton of product videos that have to follow a similar format. Let's say if your product has different colors or different styles, this is a very quick way of doing it. So first we have to get photos of your product to convert that into a 3D object. You can do that with your phone. For this, I just use natural lighting coming from my window and I use a few eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper and I laid that on the table and I had a white wall already. So that kind of created a contrast between my product and the background. So that's one key element to keep in mind when you're taking photos of your product to have a strong contrast between your background and your product. Your ground or your table has to be free of any patterns. And as you take your photo, you have to make sure that the entire product is in the frame. And when you take your photos, make sure you follow a consistent arch to create that consistency in perspective. And this is going to help in creating a better 3D model. And as you capture your photos, make sure that you can overlap those photos. And this is going to help the algorithm create that 3D model again. And you can repeat this process, taking the photos in that arch sort of structure by taking multiple angles of the product. You can lay it on its side, backwards, sideways, and this will help you capture the product in all possible angles so you can get a more realistic 3D model. And in terms of lighting, soft, consistent lighting is best. Avoid spotlights, avoid harsh shadows on the product. And if you have a light box or just an overall softer lighting source, that will help in generating a better 3D model. So once you've captured all your photos, just transfer all of the photos into your computer and then we'll go into Lumiere 3D. For this example of the shoe, I actually took about 179 photos and I uploaded them. Lumiere 3D actually recommends that you have a minimum of 100 photos and maximum of 300 photos. So this is what the main interface looks like. Right now you're able to access it and enter the demo version of this app. There is also an early access of this app, which is about $29 right now, I believe. I'll also be leaving a link in the description below if you wanna get 50% off your purchase with Lumiere 3D. So it's still in its early stages, but you can already see the power of it. So I'll show you some of the examples that I created. So first of all, we'll go under models, go to create 3D model plus, and this is here where you'll drag and drop or you can browse for all your photos and upload them here. You can select high texture quality. You can select high or ultra. I selected ultra because all my photos are above 2048 pixels. Select that and upload it, all the photos. And then you wait for Lumiere to generate that 3D object from your photos. And if your photos were taken properly, following all the tips that I gave you early on, you should have a very decent product. So let's see what this looks like. So once this is done, you can go to models which would contain all, all the models that you've uploaded. So this is the one that I've uploaded. And at first glance, it looks actually pretty good. You're able to move it around with your mouse and rotate it and just see how much detail you're able to get. Because this is an older shoe, it's kind of dirty in certain parts of it. It was able to capture that dirt too. 
and like the white parts of the shoe. It was able to get all the details in the bottom of the shoe as well. So that is pretty neat. This is a templated software. So it allows you to quickly create product videos from these templates. Lumiere did say that more complex features will be added in the future as well. I also tested this with another product, another kind of shoe. So let's take a look at that. Once you have all your objects uploaded or products, you'll see them over here. So this boot was actually captured pretty nicely. As you can see, there's a lot of detail that was captured. I'm very impressed with it. So from here, what we'll do is go to templates and there are free templates and paid templates. So if you're in the demo version, you access the free ones. And if you have the early access version, you're able to access the one that has like a little premium or crown sign in there. So let's just go on to Marshmallow and then just take a look at this. So it looks pretty neat. I like that shot actually. So we'll click on customize template. And right now we don't have our own product in here yet. So the way we can do that is go to our models, select our shoe, go back to projects and we'll have marshmallow right here. And you can see that our boot has been selected. You can see that there are three light sources here in this template, in this video, and they are the circles and there is that camera. On the corner, on the bottom right corner, you get to see what the camera is actually looking at. So let's take a play at this. Another thing that you could do with this is that you can also control the position of your lights and of that camera. If you double click on the camera, you can control the different axes, set Y, X axis and the rotation of that camera. And you get a preview in the bottom right corner of the screen. So this is what the camera will look like at this point in time. And if you scroll to the beginning of that clip, you're able to see what that shot looks like in the beginning. And you can go ahead and adjust some of those camera movements. So let's that shot has been changed like that. Let's go to this clip to see how you can adjust that lighting. So you can double click on this light. By dragging the diamond here, you're able to make the light source larger if you drag it up or smaller if you drag it down. You can adjust the position of that lighting as well. So you can hold and drag and then so you can see the lighting position is changing in the bottom right corner in the preview of that clip. If I move that light over here and rotate it. So if you wanted to get rid of any of these shots, you can just go into the options over here for each of the shots and then just delete it or you can even duplicate it. If you wanted to add a new shot, you can click on the plus sign and look at some of the shot templates over here. So there are close ups and these are all the different types of close ups. There are also long shots, one of your wide shots, and also medium shots. So let's try adding this green one. So it added this green shot, and you can see that this is what it looks like. We can also go ahead and change the background. So here under backgrounds, there are these options right now. So let's just select Galaxy. And then we click on play. So that's what that shot looks like. Once you're okay with your video, you can go and click render and select your frame rate, either 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. If you wanted to export this in a vertical format, you can also select that. And you can select to export in your desired resolution, full HD 1080p. It's only available right now if you have the early access version. If you don't, then you're restricted to 360p just to check it out and to see how this works. Once you've done that, you can click on render. The cool thing about this is that it'll render directly on the web browser. So there's no need for you to download anything into your computer. And a good thing to keep in mind is to keep the page open because this will help increase the rendering speed of your video. So once it's finished rendering, you can go into your renders tab and select what you have just rendered. And now you can download it into your computer. So 
that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, learned something new, and thanks again Lumiere 3D for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for your help. I sold the shoes in less than a day. Oh, cool. Oh, and I also have this 10-year-old couch.